guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 483. Today what we're working on is plantar flexion. That's when our toes move down towards the plants, down towards the grass, right? If we were standing up, it's a vector. It's a, it's a mobilization that we don't work on very often. However, still very important to the functionality of the foot. We're gonna attack this sucker in two different ways today. The first way is gonna be using a mobility to ball, like sucks, right? Oh gosh. <laughs> like the first one is uh, is using a mobility ball like such as if it doesn't get away from it and the second one is uh, is gonna just using our body weight into a static stretch position I'm gonna show you how it's done but first I want to show you some anatomy what we're gonna be attacking today is the outside or lateral portion of our shin right so we have our shin bone runs right down through here everyone should be able to feel that position if we just move to the outside so down this way right we'll immediately feel this uh, muscular tissue and a little bit of a gully right there we're actually going to move past that gully for today and we're going to get on that meaty portion right there if you go ahead and lift your toes up and to the outside you're going to immediately feel that tissue flex that's where we're going to be and if you notice it runs all the way down towards the bottom of the ankle and all the way up towards uh the the bottom of the knee or sorry all the way down towards the bottom of towards the top of the ankle and all the way up towards the bottom of the knee all right that one makes a little bit more sense so the first thing we're gonna do is get down there with the ball now i'm going to show you this a couple different directions Picture yourself being on top of a box because that's what we would we would be in the uh, in the gym itself, right? I'm gonna get to this half cross leg position. I would kind of look like this if I was on top of a box. I'll show you and that way you could get a little bit better um, idea. You see how my foot is more at a um, a parallel direction to the ground. That allows me to get the outside aspect, that lateral aspect, that tissue that I just showed you on against the ball. I take this ball, today I'm using a yoga tune-up ball because it's a little bit lighter density, so it doesn't hurt as much. It's not as brutal. However, you guys can go as focal as you would like as long as you're able to, to get good pressure on there and handle the pressure at which you use. Okay, so now, this is the position of the ball which we're looking. Right now I'm down to the bottom, I say bottom one third of the shin here. I'm gonna take bottom one third, middle, and then top one third of the shin. And each time when I do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and flap my, my ankle into dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, or bring my toes all the way up and push them all the way down. But this pressure is not gonna be sufficient. I'm actually gonna step over like this. Now I'm able to put good pressure right on top of there and I'm able to flex up, press down, flex up, press down. I wanna be able to get five repetitions of this, right? Up and down being one repetition. So up and down, I'm on four, up and down, that's five. Once I get my fifth repetition, I'm just gonna move it about a ball or a ball length up. Hit now that middle portion of the shin. Again, I'm gonna hit up and down, up and down. That's two, up and down, three, up and down, four, up and down, five. Final position is gonna be the top one third, just below where the knee joint is, but you can still feel that tissue. And you can notice how I'm using my hand to kind of support because I don't want to put my whole body on it. In this case, this part's a little tender for me. So I'm going to take my hand, I put it right over where the ball is. That way I still get that nice compression and I'm able to keep my foot horizontal so that way I can really expose that lateral or outside portion of the shin. Once I go ahead and complete five repetitions right here, I'm going to take the ball and put it aside just for a second. Now, when I get into this position, the next position, the static stretch, I would actually be in a position that looks like this if I was sitting at the box, but to show you guys what I really want you to do, I'm gonna to turn to the side. You will be in this position, just sitting off the side of the box, okay? Now, what I want to make a point here is a lot of times when people work at increasing plantar flexion, they allow themselves to turn their toes inwards, and that's not what we're gonna to do today. We're actually gonna stack our toes so our heel is directly vertical with our toes, and I'm gonna get my butt right over top of it. You'll see very quickly that that's a big difference in the stretch that you feel right at that mortis joint or that, that ankle joint itself because it's really pushing it into that plantar flex position. Looks like just like this. Now I can modulate the pressure by how far I sit back. The goal here is this get into this static stretch. We're going to hang out here for two minutes, okay? So it would look like this if I'm sitting at the box, right? I'm not allowing my 
I'm allowing, making sure that my toes are very vertical, not allowing my heel to dip out to the side and my toes to fall to the inside. I'll show you one last position just like this. So you can imagine very vertical here, not allowing the toes to dip out, or the toes to dip inward and the heel to dip outward, okay? You can see there's a huge difference, so you'll be able to feel a huge difference right in that position. Once your two minutes are up, we're gonna go ahead and do what I just showed you uh, for three complete rounds. So we're looking for three rounds of three positions, bottom one third, middle, and then upper one third of this lateral shin area, okay? Five oscillations of dorsiplantar flexion at each spot, and then a two minute static stretch. Complete these three rounds and let me know how you guys do. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.